What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Biz. Today we're going to talk, take a look at a little bit of Oddware, a Linksys uh, router with Earthlink True Voice on it. This thing is pretty old. I got it at in Sally Ann Salvation Army for five bucks, and I was intrigued with its ability to automatically have VoIP on there. Now this thing is definitely very old, but I still want to take a look at it. Let's do a quick unboxing here. We'll see what we got. The thing seems to be have been taken care of relatively nicely. I've definitely seen a lot worse. They kept all their stuff with it. True voice stuff. Software. Even the little stuff. Looks like they kept everything. So I've already been into this, honestly. And from looking around at it, it... Uh, does kind of have a little bit of crud on it, so I definitely think they got some use out of it. But I like this prospect. Doesn't smell bad. So yeah, let me plug this thing in, get used to it a little bit, and uh, I'll be back to torment you guys later. All right, I got everything set up here. Got my rocket sauce. Got my phone. My phone's hooked up way over here. And I got my puppy dog garden, the cables over there, so no one will step out of line. So I got her over here. I set everything up just like I was supposed to. The router itself is pretty good. This seems to have been made in a time when Linksys wasn't a pile of junk. Got her connected. Things aren't doing so bad. But then I try to get the phone working. And it ain't happening. I should have known. I should have known that this had come from a time when to do anything with networking, you had to be a freaking genius and really good with it. So I sat down, I took my time. I know a thing or two about networking, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, I know a thing or two. And it took me a little bit to figure out exactly how to set this thing up. Oh, if you have it set up in cable, do it this way. If you have it set up in DSL, do it that way. One of the things that they really should have told you is the easiest way to do this is to have an account with Earthlink. And, uh, you know, if you have an account with them, everything is so much easier, unfortunately. I don't want to call these guys. This thing's ancient. Anyways, in order to set this thing up, in order to set this little bastard up, I have to um, basically have an ISP that's ready for it. I gotta put in my username and password, but I don't even think my ISP has this option available right now. So it was a nice find for five bucks, but I should have known. Shouldn't known that it came from uh, at the time where. A time we're back in the day they'd advertise the moon. Yes, we can do this with your computer, we can do all that stuff. We can do all that stuff, but it, uh, not very well. So, I got another wireless uh, router, a G. That's it for me and Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Have a good one, folks. Back to the shelf with you, to the basement with all my other routers. There's your home until I find a place for you or throw you out.